Hello, so what's going on lagging there, guys? My name is Paul, and playing a little bit of Halo 5, or at least attempting to do so. I'm quite rusty at the game, and I, I blame the modern shooters for that. All the Call of Duties, Battlefields, and Destinies have made me kind of a lone wolf. And in most cases, in most of those games, because they're so built around casual play, that's okay. That's forgiving, because you just run around, you kill, you think. You don't need to worry about communication, teamwork, or anything like that. It promotes selfish play, and that's not a bad thing. That's actually great. It's what it's intended to be. But... You can't take that mentality and that style of play and throw it into Halo. Because you're not going to be successful. Actually, you're going to suffer because of that decision. So you need to play smarter. So this is kind of a noob tip guide for people that are new to Halo or just have been out of the game for so long. So step number one, what you got to understand is adopt the buddy system. You need to not go anywhere. You can't lone wolf in this game. You will be punished for it because the other team is not going to make that mistake. You'll be running into two or three people at a time and that's not good. Lone wolfing is a no-no here. It's rightfully named that thing, lone wolfing. Wolves are known to hunt in packs. It's something you have to do. So find your teammates and stick to them. Like come in here, stick to your teammates. You have to do that or you're going to find a lot of failure in your game. Another basic tip I can give you guys, as you notice, I just took damage and now I'm kind of walking away. Why are you not running from the enemy pwn? As you run away, it stops the regeneration of your shield. It's another thing that you have to adopt, start learning to use, and, and kind of counter. Find an area, try to crouch in it, walk away. Only run if you absolutely have to. And that's just generally if you have a teammate to fall behind and you kind of bait the enemy in. But for the most part, you got to be smart with doing that shield regeneration. Now, another big tip. Crouching is huge. It keeps you off the enemy radar. You can use it for stealth, for if you know there's an enemy coming in your direction, for callouts. You can use it for flanking if you've got a nice combination of communication down with your teammates. It's great. You stay off the radar, therefore stealth is your best friend. Trust me, I did it throughout high school. Never so much got noticed by a single female. It's, it's super effective, guys. It will add to your game. Another big tip, and this also comes down to how you actually use your mobility. Jumping is huge. We call it bunny hopping. It became mainstream in Halo. It's an absolute amazing feature. Probably the best thing you can do. Dodging is great. Dodging is something you want to use defensively, though. You should never really use it aggressively until you start to master it. For the most part, it's generally if a nade's coming at you, dash the hell the other way. That's kind of what you do. But jumping is an entirely different beast. It's something that you want to learn to get good at. And the second you actually master jumping, you're going to find success and more survivability. I know it sounds like a simple request. Jumping, why does that matter? People are going to have their sights lined up at head level when they come around corners. You're going to be easy to pick off. They're going to get perfect kills. They're going to drop you in no time whatsoever. And it's just an absolutely big mistake to make when you're playing Halo. The moment you start incorporating jumping into your game, you're going to find a lot of success that way because it will keep you out of it. So then they have to relocate. Oh wait, I got to aim up to the sky. Then I got to aim back down on ground level. Then I got to aim back up. And during this, they're going to be getting body shots, missing shots entirely. It's going to keep them disoriented and it's going to keep the advantage in your court. And that's something you want. So jumping is one of the best things you can do to improve your game. Nades. Now this is an entirely different beast because they're all over the place. You're literally hearing clink clinks all the damn time. The catch is using them properly. Again, you don't want to just start throwing them because you can kill your teammates or damage your teammates from them. It's not uncommon. Actually, it's very common. So you don't want to do something like that. A lot of times they're useful for cleanup kills or maybe even initiating it. But during a gunfight or if you're coming around and you're face off with an enemy, a lot of people are just instinctively going to hit the grenade button. You don't want to do something like that because the moment you do that, he's already got a couple precision shots into your head. You already shields down and... <laughs> Well, nice knowing you, mate. And that's pretty much just how it's going to be. So you got to know how to use the grenades and when to use them to not damage or endanger your teammates and also give yourself the proper advantage. So play smart with grenades. Moving over to another one. And this is just kind of back-ass words for a lot of people. I know other games out there, this would make no sense whatsoever. Assault rifles are great in close quarters, but they fall off on range. They're not the most reliable. A lot of people lead with a pistol because you can snipe with it, whereas the assault rifles are generally good in close quarters. That's pretty much the exact opposite of every other shooter out there. I know it's kind of back-ass words, but it's Halo. It doesn't need to make sense. It's just badass, okay? Deal with it. So, when you can't get a BR or a DMR or anything like that, the pistol can, in fact, serve you well. Actually, I like it. You can contest snipers, DMRs, and everything. You have a disadvantage going against some of those on map weapon pickups, but it can, in fact, contest it. And that's what makes it so damn delicious. It's a great weapon, to be honest, and I absolutely adore it. But that is pretty much the end of this episode. I'm going to have more videos coming up in the future. Reminder to subscribe for future Halo 5 gameplays. If you have any questions whatsoever, let me know. Again, I'm rusty at this game. A lot of the modern shooters have spoiled me. I'm trying to adjust to my playstyle to get back into the Halo groove myself. But I have a lot of experience in the game. Looking forward to posting some more for you guys. Have a great evening. And... <laughs> 
get out there, find a buddy, and, and find success.